y'all mythic bear here and thank you to all my a1 day one subscribers i can't believe that there are 273 of you so today we are doing another uh mini diamond painting mayhem video and this 82 dollar and 84 cent bill was my most expensive thing yet this is a trip that i had in my local hobby lobby because Diamond Dots were on sale. They had their Dotsies uh, for $4.99 each, which I think is half off. Uh, those prices are as of 6 22 2024 So, um, yeah, let's get right on into it. We have a literal shopping bag full. Um, so these are the miniatures, this is the Bliss Bud, and if we look really closely, we'll be able to see the dimensions. It's a uh, three inch by three inch uh, size for the design. The actual um, size of it is 4.7 by 4.7 inches. So our next one is the Butterfly Sparkle. So this comes with eight bees, as we can clearly see. Um, okay, so it appears that all of these little miniature ones are going to be 4.7 inches by 4.7 inches. And then last but not least, we have the cactus. That all just appears to be regular drills. And then I wound up getting some Dotsy stickers as well. So this is the Flamingo, the Flip Flops, and the Pineapple. So there's three in here, and each one of these stickers is, um, well, each one of these, like, three pack of stickers is going to be $9.99. I got the other one as well with the mermaid, the unicorn, and the cat. And then last but not least, I got the bracelets. So then this three pack retails for $10.99. So I'll have Editing Mythic put the timestamps down below and then let's hop right on in. I think we'll do the miniatures first. Thank you for waiting. So we're just going to go in order starting with the bliss bud. I have a feeling that the kit contents for the most part is going to be the same. All right, so here is our actual drill field. And we've got our legend right there. And then we have step-by-step -step instructions. You're gonna open up your dots pack. You're gonna look at the symbol that you want to go after and then you're gonna find your corresponding color to the key pour it in the tray 
dip your pen into the wax and then peel back the plastic, put the diamonds onto the pen, put pen on the corresponding symbol, and then you're gonna be done. You can frame it. So then here are our drills. Now, something that I found out, as I'm sure um, some other diamond painters may have already found out, is that uh, Diamond Dots does not follow the DMC color code. So this is just uh, five, four, three, two, and one. Uh, there are conversion kits or there's like drill identifier books. So if you do wind up doing several of these Dotsy kits or maybe one of their more um, adult friendly diamond paintings, then definitely make that investment and get the and get like the drill identifier you can get them on amazon i believe yep i'll have those linked in the description the drill identifier thing um so this seems to be like a basic toolkit we have our pen, we have a comfort grip, a gray boat, and we have some wax. Like that is super duper translucent. Um, I mean, I feel like I want to just do maybe one of these miniatures just to see how well does the wax hold up. Um, but yeah, like I... Typically, I don't see wax that pale, so I'm just, I don't know, I feel, I feel kind of like, uh, is it, like, really going to, uh, stick to the gems, but I don't know, it's just something that we'll need to figure out. So this is the Butterfly Sparkle, and... I am not going to go to end up with our toolkit or anything. I suspect it is going to be gray boat, um, pink almost see-through wax, and then pen and then comfort grip. I am just like super duper intrigued on these ABs and then we get like our how-to as well. Okay, so here's what this is. And then, yep, so I guess like your comfort grip color is going to vary. The wax and all that looks the same. By the way, in case you're like hearing random noises, I am doing this at like six o'clock in the evening and everybody is home. So you may hear something just as an FYI. So there's the brown, there's the orange. Okay, so that's probably for like the eyes and then all of this blue goes in the butterfly wings and then that is a really nice blue AB. Uh, 
Okay, so here we have the Texas Bloom, aka the Cactus. You know, I just had a thought, like, if y'all have some fairy dust left over from your bigger kits or some, like, gems or, like, crystals or you have um, ABs left over from your bigger kits and you think that these are kind of, like, plain Jane but you still want to give them to people as gifts and things, like, you could totally take the special drills that you have from your other kits and put them in, like swap them in, substitute them in for the drills that come with these. And then if you just like have the drill identifier <laughs> from Amazon or like the drill Pokedex from Amazon, then um, you'll just, you know, have a little bit of extra in your storage if that's what you prefer. Um, okay, so those red ones just look a little bit odd because you've got the Diamond Hots logo, like, scrolling all through there. I thought, like, what? Did they have two different kinds of reds? But nah, it's just with the one red. And then the green and the yellow and the brown. All right. Yeah, everything with the toolkit and all that appears to be the same. So next up is gonna be our Dotsies. I just got the two, three packs of them. Um, And this is the holiday or vacation pack. Oh, that's neat. So they give you a quick little how-to on the back. And then there are our kit contents. And here are our stickers. What I think is like somewhat <coughs> excuse me discouraging is the fact that that was stapled like that and I kind of wish that ugh, I'm looking for my scissors and I cannot find them rawr Oh, but here's my knife. So, um, <laughs> as I was saying, I find that the packaging was kind of discouraging with how, you know, it's stapled like that. I, f I really love the concept of Diamond Dots doing like these, these bundle type things, but I feel like they really need to make the packaging be resealable in some sort of form or fashion. Like maybe have the plastic bag go like over top of it with a cutout for it to like hang up on a shelf. And just like have everything be zip locked. But then again, like kids could, um, like some handsy 10 year old could like go and like open the thing and then get into all the merchandise. So that may not be like the wisest idea, but I guess like what you could always do is you could always have them be um, in a box with like the tamper tape and then have everything just like in a Ziploc baggie together. I don't know. I just feel like 
What if you only have like five minutes, 10 minutes, you're not going to do all three of your stickers and like you kind of want something to be resealable, you know, but I'm also like trying to take into account the store as well because if there's something that's like Ziploc, obviously like a kiddo could go in there and get all the diamonds and I mean like we've seen what bored kids do in Sephora so like I certainly wouldn't want to create something like that in a Hobby Lobby or anything but I just I feel like there should be some sort of way to reseal up everything if you're not gonna do it all at once. I love this. I love that they had enough forethought to include a walking legend. And then our toolkit appears to be the same. And then, ooh, this has ABs. That is awesome. Oh, there's a white one. Nice. It's not too shabby. We got a couple of babies. I also love the fact that um, for these miniatures, they're rounds. So you're not just because you're doing something small form factor with diamond dots you're not automatically locked into squares because I know sometimes squares can be a little bit uh like you have to finesse them with a straightening wedge or like an old credit card or something in order to get them in the right spot and also I was about to say that how that quick little how-to thing on the back probably wasn't going to be it for some people I love how they've also uh, had the forethought at least to include a bigger step-by-step -step instruction. Nothing on the back. Okay. Give me a minute to pack this up and then we're gonna get right on in to our other dotsies. Well, actually, hang on. Before I pack them up, um, I didn't like actually do this yet, but let's see how the glue is. Oh, okay. Diamond Dots is, yeah, they got some pretty good glue. And then I didn't really do this earlier with the other ones, but if we look at our flip flops, the symbol clarity is excellent. All right, now let's get this packed up. Okay, I'm back. So uh, before we go on to the first one, I went out into the kitchen and I got a Ziploc bag. So unless uh, Diamond Dot changes their packaging anytime soon and you're wondering like, what the heck do I do with my Dotsies now that they're open? Um, or you can't finish them, whatever. Solution. All right. Now we're gonna do the kitty, the mermaid, and the unicorn. Ooh, can you just think, like, what if you had a whole bunch of fairy dust left over from your previous projects and you just made the white of that unicorn, like, all fairy dust? Or if you left the white of the unicorn plain, but then you did, like, the whole entire main ABs or fairy dust or, like, crystals or whatever, like, wouldn't that just be so much fun? <laughs> oh my goodness so this poor mermaid like I feel like she has the wide eyes emoji 
<laughs> on her face. I know it's not how she's going to turn out. But just, like, right away, when I take a look at the jail feel, I, I just feel like she's, like, one of those shocked, like... <laughs> also, why do I have a feeling that if this cat could be upscaled, it would have the oo expression. <laughs> oh, goodness. It has been a long day, y'all. I am just, like, slap happy at this point. Also, anybody else just feel halfway tempted to just take their drills and then just like turn this into a insert name of my little pony character because I because I looked at that and then I'm just like well the drill field's all there like like what if I just straight up turned that into rarity or uh or, like, Applejack if I had, like, the right colors just, like, completely cut off the unicorn horn or something or Pinkie Pie. <laughs> so that's our toolkit. Same as all the rest of them. I mean, I know, like, the freestyle kits are a thing. And there is our walking legend. They only have seven colors. Pink, yellow AB. White, black, pink, peach, and blue. And then in case you skipped right up to this point here, is our how-to guide. But lastly, you get your finished results. Again, so glad that they included one of those. In case any of y'all are wondering why they include that big one and you didn't see my earlier thing on the dot C's, here's why. is because they give a very brief explanation, but yeah, we realize that that may not be enough for some individuals, so I am so glad that they give that bigger how-to guide. And I feel actually kind of dumb now because I'm just like looking at the packaging and I'm seeing like how you can easily go and pull everything out, but that wasn't like readily apparent to me. So if for whatever reason you're just like not seeing that part of the packaging um, and you just like completely pull it out from the staples, then I guess like you can just put everything through in a Ziploc bag and there you go. 
in my defense like these little resealable plastic things are finicky as we can as we can see of course so if you're having a hard time don't feel bad about grabbing a ziploc although i think that you know for the longevity of projects if you want it to be a little bit more premium or at least recyclable cardboard like an actual cardboard box wouldn't it be too bad okay and last but not least the dotsies bracelets oh you know if you've done some uh special like if you've done the mini dazzles oh there's tamper tape on this hello um if you've done the mini dazzles from diamond art club or maybe you just like have some square fairy dust or crystals laying around Heck, even if you, like, this is all that you're going to use your gift card for or whatever for uh, DP with sparklers, then uh, this could be a fantastic leftover drill kit or you just, like, haven't worked with AB drills and you want to try it. I think that this is going to be good. What? They had a window back there. Hang on. Let me, like, redo. So it comes with everything. We're getting ABs, we're getting our bracelets, and then they give a brief how it works, but I'm sure there's going to be a bigger how-to in there because I can already see it. how it comes in the packaging like that so step one lay everything out pick your diamonds use your wax to put in the pen use the pen to pick up said diamonds put them on the corresponding symbol and then close the bracelet with the magnet and then you're finished or is that Velcro? I think it could actually be Velcro. Not sure. We'll find out in just a moment. Okay, so these are Velcro and it looks like we get like some basic designs. Okay, so they go like that. I think my wrist might be a little bit too big. Yeah, because these are like child size, but that's okay. So some of these, like this especially, might be interesting if you do like fairy dust and crystals. And our same toolkit that we've had throughout. But they do give us ABs, so let's see what type of ABs they have. Something that I am also noticing with these kits is they have the Walking Legend. So these are mostly neutrals. That's great because if you have like teenage girls or anything, at least like that'll go with most outfits. So there's black. Ooh, a fiery red orange AB. Oh, we've got a pink AB. A white AB. Oh, another pink AB. And then we have like a garnet and a 
light gray. Overall, I think that if you're looking for some more kid friendly or um, tween friendly diamond painting experiences, this Diamond Dots is probably the place to go for that. Um, depending on how you look at things, um, like they could either be a really, really good company for like a mini diamond painting experience or they might be kind of meh if you're looking at it specifically for cost per unit because I think like cost per unit wise especially those miniatures they're obviously gonna be more expensive I think like aside from Fallon Gems, which uh, Fallon Gems was a limited run of things. Um, so I think that these are going to be obviously more expensive, more cost prohibitive. But I mean, you do get that one off project. So if you are just like, let me try this and see if I like it, period, before I even commit to an actual canvas and a storage system and like upgraded tools and everything like let's just see if we even like this I think that if you approach it with that sort of sentiment like just picking one of these little things up in Hobby Lobby would be really beneficial for you um but if you're you know, trying to do a bunch of them as like gifts for Christmas or whatever, you might, uh, you might just be, you might not have enough. You might have to buy several. And then as we saw in my receipt, that can be pretty expensive. And this is not wanting to go back in the package right at all. I am so sorry if I hurt your ears or anything. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I am going to end it here and then just box that up on my own. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and hit the subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more of my content or you know, you can just like be so kind as to hit the thumbs up and then dip however you feel. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and we will see you all later. Bye!